It's saying that we're live again. Mm. For my Tampa State. For my Tampa. High five. Right. Hey, they're back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you weren't first. We tree beat you. Okay. Let's wait till Vegas back up on her. Honey, hop back on there. I'm working on it. Okay, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. You're not supposed to eat that. <gasps> winter. No, it's not winter. It's the cat. Oh, it's the cat. <laughs> Winter's like, what did I do? Oh, she's like, what? She's what like, did I do? I, I was eating my tire. <laughs> okay, are we back? Yeah, Anybody. we're back. We're doing? back. You can go for it. Okay. You only got one person, it says. I'm back on the main Hold turn. on, I'm, I'm working on it. No, there's 17. Okay. You're only seeing the one. All right. So, there are aromatics, Englishes, and Virginias. They, um, what makes them all different is Englishes are a blend of different tobaccos, but, where was that? Of uh, Virginias can be too, but mostly it's strictly reds, whites, and yellow Virginias. So, it's going to be sort of that kind of group. But Englishes can be Orientals, like, tons of different tops. There's going to be all kinds of different tops. And uh, like just tons of them. So, and I like those best because they're a lot stronger. They're more pungent. But, yeah, it's not about big words, right? Uh, I'm, I'm on I, I, Yeah, I, I can't see I'm what they're saying. working at it. You broke it. Broke it. I know, I'm it's broke it in. I broke it your Okay. Okay. He said, I remember something about rum. Yes. <laughs> um, there is a lot of flakes and those top that are soaked in rum. And those taste phenomenal. Usually you won't get the rum taste. You might get a hint here and there, but most time it... Um, as far as smelling it, it's very strong. So there's that big strong air around it. But when it smells good, it usually won't taste as good. That's just about how it goes. There's some of them that is sort of a, eh, like this stuff that I'm lighting up right now that is going to smell phenomenal in here. It'll Ooh. taste okay, but it won't be that strong flavor, that boom of, you know, all kinds of flavor. It just won't because they have to case it and it's called casing it. And they'll paste it and that whole entire process means that, that they will pick out certain types of flavors, spray it down, flip it, spray it down again, flip it again, spray it, and they do this over weeks. And it like that means that there's gonna be all kinds <laughs> of that flavor on top of it. Maria. So there won't be a lot of strong stuff in it. So um, Big Bear said so how do you put those large flakes into a pop? Mainly, what you do if it's a flake, ugh, I can open it, is that they come apart pretty easy. And mm, what you're gonna do is that you just pull it apart, and you just twist it, and it just breaks apart. And what you'll do is snap it into tons of twigs and all kinds of, like, uh, just all kinds of parts. And usually what I'll do, I'll break it apart and there'll be tons of small pieces and I'll just rub it out. That is technically mm, what it's called. I don't like saying that term. But that's what it's called. <laughs> and it does sound bad. It does sound bad. But, <laughs> but anyway, so, and I will at least... Um, have it there for about at least five to ten minutes and then it's ready. It's perfect. Pack it in. You're good to go. 
Because usually, <laughs> what? Southland said, the hub said, if there's no rum taste, he'll just have some on the side. I'm pretty sure he thinks he's a pirate. Vina told her, uh, or told him, Southland, easy way to find out. Ask what his favorite letter is. She said, Vina, he says R. I <laughs> know, <laughs> it's the C. <laughs> it's the C, Corey said. <laughs> oh, Southwind said, LOL, he said his second favorite is C. Now, tools you're going to need if you actually want to pop smoke. If you want to smoke a pop. Susan said, I, sm I swear I smelled that when he lit it. <laughs> Trust me, I did. <laughs> simply said, look, his, this is Simply's flash. response to what you were saying. <laughs> he prefers to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't, no, we can't do that. Hey. Wait. What? Real idiot. <laughs> Behave. Now, okay. Pulls your going. The, the tools you're going to need to pop smoke is going to be a lighter, a tamper. Well, you don't need a tamper, but it makes it a lot easier. A tamper. I bought this for two bucks. It's a nail. You can use just about anything, but it's a nail. It can be. The for a while, you were using a stick. Yeah, a person can take a stick, chop it. Just, you know. It down. Yeah. If I can. Yeah, um, I've used keys before. I've used my finger, which it'll burn, but you know, if you ain't got nothing else. But mainly what this does is that it tamps down the ash that's on top to pack it down into the fresh stuff, and it only allows that ember to just keep going to where you don't have to constantly sit there and always go back and forth. It just, you know, Mm, mm, makes everything easier going down the bowl. Now, what I have um, as a lighter is an old-fashioned Zippo, but inside of it, it is built with that circle in it, which means as soon as I hold it over the pipe, it's got a circle right there. It feeds right down into it. It's as good as anything. I love these. I love these. They're hard to keep up because you always have to keep fluid in them. They're always running low. Stuff like that. So a big works perfect. You can buy them things a dozen for a dollar, pretty much. Southland said, "Anyone else like the smell of Zippo's lighting a pot yes. more than just a regular oh old disposable lighter?" I, I'm guilty of just smelling this, of just walking around and just doing this. I, it's weird, I know, but I. Default. So you huff lighter fluid? Listen, <laughs> it smells all right. It's a lot. It, it's a lot like gasoline. I just can't help it. But it does, yeah. Oh, so you have gas too? No, I'm saying everyone likes to smell of gasoline. Like you I do. do. I like to smell of gas. I'm just a weirdo. But for for me, as somebody who does not smoke, obviously, I'm not a huge fan of the Virginia blends. I despise. Are you blowing smoke rings? Yeah. He is. I'm getting off. <laughs> I despise the really strong English blends, but the aromatics I don't mind. But he don't like the aromatics as much because he doesn't like. Um, it's because they don't taste as good and they're kind of weak. That they they're not as heavy as far as taste goes. Now with the English blends, the other way around, they smell very much like burning tobacco. Like they they're really strong. They smell. It's very smoky smelling. A lot of people don't like the smell of them. But that's what I smoke well, as soon as I'm outside or something like that. I bet I have 20 Zippos. Reformed smoker, you know. <laughs> Big Bear said cool points because you were able to blow smoke rings. But no jellyfish. <laughs> no jellyfish. No. <laughs> Only one. I failed at that. <laughs> once. Urban Girl Maria said, Hope likes to smell gas. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I was going to turn into like an AA meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like an AA meeting for gas offers. <laughs> oh, but gosh. I'm trying to think of anything else I could possibly tell. Okay. As far as how it can be prepared, there are flakes, there's loose tobacco, which everyone's seen loose tobacco, it's just, it's just loose tobacco. There's flakes, I just got done showing you, there's a thing called a crumble cake. Big Bear said his girls loved it, that he blew those smoke rings. You'll have to do, do it again for his babies. You can do it again. 
I know. Put I don't work spot. under pressure. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. Here in a minute. All right. Claire said death is for fools. Hmm? Claire said death is for fools. If there's any crumble left in here. But there is... Anyway, there is... It can come prepared as loose flake, a crumble, and a plug. A plug is literally a square plug of tobacco. It's packed really tight, and what you literally have to do is take it into a kitchen or somewhere and slice off a flake of it. That's where they get the flakes from. They have a big plug that comes in <laughs> ounces. Maria said, and you just slice it off. Is it me, or does that pop make him look wise? And who was it? JRC said, Yep, Urban, he instantly added 30 IQ points. And then Big Bear said, now there's a man who read the manual. <laughs> you need a monocle. I need a monocle. But, <laughs> but the plug, I won't it's be able just to. Hold one glass What's that noise, Susan? That's winter. That's winter chewing she has on a, this. She has a toy. It's the only toy I've been able to find that she can't destroy. It's, it's made of uh, recycled car tires. And it's this purple toy, and she's just sitting there just... Going for it. God, you're blind, Emily. <laughs> now talking to British accent. Now you just look hipster. Now talking to accent. Great talking to <laughs> Hey, Claire, the, um, that green smoothie, put in a green apple. Put in a couple of green apples, and that'll help. Green uh, apples if you're talking about peppers. that mean green, yeah, live by apples and... What is it? What's the other thing? Was it? I always made that mine with smell. kale. That kale's always going to taste like you just shaved up the lawn and put it in a drink. You're no. going to need something to mask that. Kale, cucumbers, apples, and it was and lemon. If you do it that way, it's not as bad. It'll give you heartburn, but it's not as bad. You think it's more of the texture? Try not blending it, but try straining it off like what you do the milk. Like use something similar to what you do the milk and strain it off. And it's much, much better. I don't like the texture of them either. I think they're gross. But if it's just juice, juice, I'm fine. Uh, our bulldog has one of those, yeah. Why is Corey not being seen, only heard? I'm camera shy. He's camera shy. I can be a great radio host. <laughs> but I'm camera shy. Uh, Who is that? No, it's not a Kong thing. She can destroy a Kong. She's done it before. It's uh, some specialty toy that I had to buy. And she's, it's, she's I'll tell you guys a little so bit of story. This made me mad. I bought her a busy bone. Thought this should keep her entertained for at least a little bit. I was playing video games right over here. I know you guys can't see it, but right over here. Bought her a busy bone. Thing says up to three hours of... You know, at least some kind of entertainment for your dog. But she always bothers me. Anywhere I'm near this room, she's always right by my side, always wanting whatever I'm doing, whatever. So, I bought her this busy bone. Thought, hey, this would be something good for her. Took her less than 10 minutes. Less than... I heard her snap it in half as soon as I put it down. And I was... And literally, within 30 minutes to 15 minutes, it's gone. Gone. Spent like five bucks on that thing. Uh... <laughs> Susan said, you look so Sherlock Holmes. My brother actually went to London and toured a uh, Sherlock Holmes museum. Even though Sherlock Holmes is... I should have used my good museum. pipe. Yeah, you should If they think this is... I should have used my good pipe. My I should have used my good pipe. <laughs> get to your Ian McCallum and get you one of those wizard pipes. Boo <laughs> boo. So, oh, who's Corey? That's John's cousin. That's my cousin. He's here to visit. Uh, let's see. When I'm we come to, to visit, can we face. bring Apollo? Of course you can bring Apollo. I saw something on Facebook and I was like, this is like my motto in life. It said, if I die, don't fuss at your 100 pound dog from jumping all over me. If I die from 100 pounds of slobbery dog kisses, then I, that's how I want to go. And that's how I feel. That's if I die by a dog loving me, then, then I've died in a great way. Oh, and another thing that I just thought of. Um... Try your hardest not to smoke. Well, with these, it's kind of weak, so you can smoke it quick. But if it's Jason English, said, smoke the Viking pot. 
Do you have a Viking pipe? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's not a Viking. It's a Viking. It's the pipe. brand. It's called oh. Viking. I said it. Well, we're by you. Oh. Put this one in it. Just make sure you leave it setting up. It's hot. Uh, yeah, it's got fire in it. Corey. <laughs> I never claimed to be smart. Maria said, hello, John's cousin. Hello. Simply hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. <buddy>. Hello. <laughs> Simply said, you need a great beer, Gandalf. <laughs> uh, yes, I do. In time, my good friend, in time. We need to find a long pipe. I need a church warden. Those are called church wardens. <laughs> <laughs> Those long stem pops. Corey, you're good. <laughs> those long pops that those guys do smoke, you know, where they hold them way down here, those are called church wardens. And those are, you know, always made famous by people in the Hobbit and Lord and the of the Amish. Rings and the Amish because they smoke them too. Oh, so you're going to show them how to do the flake and yeah. smoke the fire? Okay. Well, you know, this is going to stink. Ladies. This oh. is going to stink. So I'm doing this for Big Bear. This is for you, buddy. I hate you, Jason. <laughs> this, ooh. Oh, that's a big one. Only uh, Steve said, I have a gray beard. Should I get a pop? Yes. You got a gum rub. Yes. You would either look like a wizard or a captain of a ship. That's always a good thing. <laughs> any, any man with a beard now, should smoke a pop. This is a full flake. Jason Absolute. said, we need to start a pop smoking club. Absolutely. Oh. Here's the thing. Oh. I'm trying to talk him into doing this. I think that he should start his own channel dedicated to pop smoking. No. And just doing, you know, answering questions and stuff like that. Now, let's... So... If he decides to do it, Pimmy. check back this video later, and I'll put it. I'll put the link to Quit his Pimmy. video, his channel in the description. Now, yeah, <laughs> this is a full flake. That ooh, it's breaking apart. <laughs> Susan <laughs> said it's elementary, my dear Watson. That's right. It's elementary. This is a full flake. This is usually how they come, but this one's breaking apart because I've had it for like six months now, but it's breaking apart. Now, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this. You won't. I won't be able to pack a full. <laughs> Chicken flat, uh, a full flake in this one bowl. There's just no way. Chicken. So what? So what I usually do is a person can do this. You're not supposed to, but you can. You can bend that flake in half, like that, directly in half. Bend it in half, then roll it until it looks like that. It's literally. Ugh, I know it um, looks like a piece of poop or something. The mama cat said he. Sh yes, he should start his own channel. And you guys are killing me. Simply said, I'm smoking a tropical cigar just to join in on the fun. And Big Bear said, I love you, man. Then Simply said, I love the way top, pop tobacco smells. Josh should go to pot smoking. Yeah. If Big Bear gets a pot, he needs to get a boat. And then get a bigger boat. <laughs> yes. But, so, it's folded like that. It's just folded twice and rolled over onto itself. And you literally... Now, you can do this. You don't have to. There's tons of different ways to do this. And you literally just stick it down in there. And you can do just like that. Pack it down a little bit. And then you can take the rest of that flake. Do the exact same thing over again. Because usually with full-size pops, it'll literally just fit one flake. And then the other half. What? Oh, shit. That's the same <laughs> I'm going to so my God. Oh my god, you literally about gave me a heart attack. I swear to god. Did you really think I was? He looked down and he was like, Cherish, you're on fire. You're on fire. It's the Christmas careful, lights. Careful, careful. Huh? It's my Christmas lights. And somebody's like, you're on fire. Here, here, why don't you put that over on the other Why don't you scare me to death? Now. I was like, I don't even feel hot at all. Big Bear said, you're making me want to pop so bad. And uh, simply said, do it, John. We would watch like Sheldon. Coppers, fun with flags. <laughs> Collaboration, Shut picture up. this. Take pictures with the pop and send it in. Uh, now, that whole flake fit into one bowl. Because I did half of it, snapped it in half, rolled it onto itself all the way down, and then grabbed the other half, did the exact same thing, and it fits precisely. That's one bowl. That's perfect. There you go. It's already in there. You better get ready for the smell of this. Um, and uh, <laughs> I am ready. I'm doing this for Big Bear. It's for laughing. Big Bear. They're laughing. <laughs> this I thought you was on fire. I know. You were panicking. You were like, Dude, I heard something like it sizzled. And I was no. like, wait a minute. And I turn around and I look and I see an orange light on your elbow. So, flame. Like, <laughs> and then, flame. okay. Now, as far as lighting, I should have done this on the other one, but I didn't think of it. But, 
Every single first light is... Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory and you call yourself nerds. I'm sorry, I didn't know what you was talking about. I was like, what? Sheldon oh, Cooper. Fun Penny. facts. She's, Penny. <laughs> she's horrible. But the first light is called a char light. Uh, a char light is just a char, the first top layer, I guess you can call it layer, the f like the first top of the tobacco. Now as it chars, it's going to turn into ash, it's going to turn into embers. On the second light, after the first light, I'm going to gently tap it down and that's to push all the ash and the embers down and then I light it again and that's whenever you're ready to smoke. That's whenever it's prepared, you can literally do whatever you want to do after that point and usually it should stay lit. Bina has Stormtrooper armor. What? Oh my lord, like you just went up so many cool points in my eyes. We need Stormtrooper armor. I want Stormtrooper outfit. I want a helmet. I want a helmet. I want one of the new helmets. Have you seen the new helmets where you uh, can, hey. when you talk, what? This, I ain't got no more fluid. Show. You're out of fluid? <sighs> Dude, you just filled that thing up two days ago. Southwood said, dang it, I'm leaving this live stream. Now my hubby wants a pop and a boat, for heaven's sake. We live in the <laughs> middle of Kansas. There isn't water around here. <laughs> There's water in Kansas. Oh. Oh, John. I can't even smell anything. Is your nose broken now? Bye, Claire. It's for Big Bear. Ugh. It's all right. It's for Big Bear. I don't even smell it yet. Come on now. We need to get you some Darth Vader jammies. I would wear those. What was that? What was that? Now, Virginia's like that. You have to smoke it slow. If you smoke Virginia's fast, you'll get something called tongue bite. And for anyone that's about to try pop smoking, you will probably get tongue bite the first time you try pop up. Pop smoking. Probably yeah. said you can tell Cherish is not crazy about that smell. Mm -hmm. This particular one, it's like super, it just smells like a giant ashtray. I don't like the smell of it at all. But, no. <laughs> guys, I love this. We should do this every live stream. But, Southwind um, said, not this part of Kansas there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wear the Darth Vader jammies when I'm hurting or don't feel good. The dark side makes me feel better. Uh, Big Bear said, how often do you have to clean them? There's some people that overdo it and do it every single day. I do not. What? That's another good point. There's no pop cleaners over here. Chloe, hand me that jar. Mm -hmm. Like the whole jar. Oh yeah, your arm's on fire. <laughs> My arm is on fire. Uh, everyone probably knows what these are. USA Kiwi said tongue box. Yes. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I kind of quit talking about that. Um, He's like a squirrel. Yeah. Got a squirrel. 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 These are pop cleaners. I know everyone's probably oh, seen pop you. cleaners. You've probably played with them oh, in school. But these are pop cleaners, and they actually do what you've probably heard them being called in school. You literally just run them down the, the hole right here in the bit. Run them down. Give them a few things there, and you're good. Oh. Now there are. That's Winter's toy. It's it is built like a tire, like it. There's no breaking it. But this is a different kind of pop cleaner that you probably have never seen before. You see those little small red dots in there? Those are hard bristles, and that cleans really, really good all the stuff in there, and it gets all the little bits and what is a term that's called doggle or what's it called? I don't know. It's called Somebody something. Said, anyway, doggle, is that, doggle. Pop, is that smoke making you sick? Hope? Actually, it, it don't make me sick. I just don't like the smell of it. Like, it's not my favorite at all. But, like, some of the other, like, Kate's Cold Cavendish, like, he could literally, I would love it if he smoked that because it smells so aromatic that I like the smell of it in the house. But, okay, yes, tongue bop, because someone asked about that. <clears throat> Did my quail go to freezer camp? Not yet. We decided to wait two on weeks. to 10 weeks. So, we're giving it two more weeks. Okay, tongue bite. Freezing All right, video. this is what it's about. Whenever you first start, you're going to probably get tongue bite. Whenever anyone starts, they usually end up getting tongue bite the first time. A lot of people will be coming from cigarettes or something like cigarettes or 
some kind of other form of smoking. This is not like those. If you smoke this like any of those, you are gonna have a bad time. It's not gonna taste right, it's not gonna taste good at all. It is going to be bitter, it's gonna be stinging. It's just not gonna taste like it should. But the reason it's called tongue bite, now don't let that scare you. You want me to help you? Just push yourself. But um, it's called tongue bite because literally you are puffing and it's coming out of this little bitty hole right here so quick and it's hitting your tongue. And what that is doing is burning your tongue. And that's why it's called tongue bite. And it can be like a stinging kind of pain. It don't hurt, but it's just kind of like, ugh, like this shouldn't be happening. But it's called tongue bite, and that's what that's called. Usually anyone that starts will have tongue bite at least once. Now, aromatics, that all that stuff that smells good and stuff like that will be probably the first thing to give you tongue bite. And the reason of this is because of all the chemicals. I'm using the pop to talk, and I feel like I'm Sherlock. But <laughs> I'm like, and let me tell you one more thing. But, um, and the main problem and why it does that with all those things that smell good and all those blends that smell so good is because the chemicals that you're burning with the tobacco that smell good, that is the flavor of apple or cherry or whatever, well, hold on, will be burning with it. And as you're doing it, those chemicals are burning as well. And it's those chemicals that will burn you. Usually tobacco won't do it as bad. That's why a lot of people can smoke all these other things and puff away like crazy and it really won't do much. much. But with but those kind that smell good, they're very heavily cased because they want to smell good and because they want to taste like apples or whatever flavor it is. So it's those flavors. Anita said tongue bite isn't bad. It's the whole taking in too much and thinking you're yes. dying from coughing too, coughing yes. too much. Oh, that's another one. Holy cow, it's a good thing she said that. Do not, this is not to be inhaled. If you inhale this, you are going to have a bad day. Like, <laughs> you will not enjoy it. I think you should demonstrate. Simply, no, I am not. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. With Aromel, with that lane one cue, I probably could have. And I could, and I probably could have inhaled and it would have been all right. If I was to inhale this Virginia, you guys would see a coughing fit from a big man. I would shake that camera and plumb off that tripod. <laughs> It would be bad. Simply said, how close to a cigar does pop tobacco taste? Because I enjoy smoking a cigar once in a while, but never a pop. There are certain blends that have actual parts of cigars in them. They have the leaf that is bound together on the outside of the actual uh, cigar. There's actual blends of pop tobacco that have that leaf in it. Because a lot of people like the taste of cigars, but they also like pops. So that's a happy in between. Hi, so, Mr. Rain. So it kind of helps them. But uh, all blends, yeah, I would say it's very close oh. to uh, cigars. Oh. And it's a lot oh, like that. Do. Like it's oh, about taking your time, it's about it being easy. It's a hobby. You know, a person, you know, this wouldn't be something I do on my lunch break. This wouldn't be something I do whenever I know I'm, I have five minutes, I have 10 minutes. Oh. I don't. This is something I would do when I have an hour, two hours, three hours, when I have the whole night off and I'm just relaxing. That's what this is about. And it's about slowing down. And that's mainly what this is about. It's about trying to take it in as slow as possible. You do not rush it. If you rush it, it's gonna get too hot. If it gets too hot, it's going to start burning too quick. If it burns too quick, it's not going to taste right. And it's going to throw off all the natural flavors of that blend. And it's just not going to be right for you. You also got to be careful, too, that you're not trying something like an English blend or something really heavy if you've never done it before or if you're on an empty stomach. Mm. My cousin came to the house, and he smokes a pot that he'd never... John has something called Dunhill Nightcap. It's, like, super, super strong. And Michael had never tried it before, and he was doing what they call hot boxing. But it's a very this. famous blend. Like, if you actually look back in the books and find out what Sherlock smoked, it was not Cap. And I think that's interesting. Granted, he wasn't a real guy. But in the books, that's what he's smoking. And I think that's neat. But it's a very strong blend. It has a very hit, very strong hit of 
that certain vitamin that's in all tobacco. And if you if you smoke that on an empty stomach, the vitamin gonna, in. Yes, yes, the good old vitamin in. You are gonna find yourself stomach hurting, room spinning. Okay, listen. Swear to Lord above, you're never gonna do it again. <laughs> Simply said, pop talk with John needs to happen more often. Do it, man. Sit and tell us stories while enjoying a pop. And Kelly said, yes, stories, stories. I'm just going to tell you guys something flat out. Stories, I don't He might tell you some stories. But if you got John to sit down and start talking, he is so wise. It, for his, not even for his Wait, age. Let me but stroke just, my beard while you said that. <laughs> just says stole. anybody, period. Like, don't I look majestic? <laughs> he is oh, my goodness. He's so wise. Just the wisdom sometimes that he said. Like he'll just... I can be going on with some kind of crazy something, and he always, I can always trust him to speak wisdom in my life. And so, for him to sit down, he can give some of the best advice ever. Wait, pause. I didn't pay her anything to say this. No. He just, he, it's the truth. So, yes, you need to do a channel. Uh, he uh, simply said, heck, we can just sit and talk about music while smoking your pop. It's true. I, I'm all over that. Oh, my goodness. You have no idea. Susan said, I'm sure hot box means something different than when I did it. <laughs> Probably. Uh. <laughs> so it's cro so is crocheting. LOL. I'm still working on things to send the grandbabies. But yeah, that's that that that's is mainly all pop smoking is. It's it is about slowing down. It's about... Kelly said kind of, a wisdom chat. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. He calls it squirrel. His nickname oh, it was squirrel. So he, he always says, let me just drop a little squirrel knowledge. That's what he always tells me <laughs> when he's about to like say something really smart that's just going to blow my mind. And a lot of times I'll just get kind of quiet, just look at him. And I'm just like... Because it takes a minute for my little pea brain to pick up what he just said <laughs> and to comprehend what he's going on with. Let's see. Uh, simply said, oh my God. Josh and I just figured out what we're getting John for Christmas. Going to order it tonight. Going to be glorious. Puffs of Wisdom with John from Hope's Homestead. Puffs of Wisdom. Puffs of Wisdom. I love it. There you go. Y'all making me sound a lot you know, better than what I am. I thought my ego couldn't get easy. I see fire. It's Crown crazy, and some pot smoking in our future. <laughs> hey, that's what it's all about right there. My daddy smoked a pot for years. I love the smell. Perfect, Amanda said. Uh, is Corey holding Katniss now? That's Emily, and that's Aria no, that she's walking around. She would never hold Katniss, would you? <laughs> Nobody can that hold cat, Katniss. I wouldn't touch her. I'm a big dude. I wouldn't I touch can, a cat. <laughs> I can pick her up. I'm scared. But the I other morning, her. the other morning I was laying in bed, she, <laughs> that cat jumped up behind me. Guys, I ain't never prayed. I prayed. Oh, Lord. Uh, so what size is your hair? Oh, somebody else is asking something else. Um... Oh, the kitty's bomb in the video. Oh, we cat. Got photo bomb. That's my best kitty. That's the best kitty in the whole world. You need a hookah, John. Mm-hmm. I want to go. There's there is a actual bar that that's what they do. They are a hookah bar, and they are in Cleveland, which is about uh half hour. Yeah, um, <laughs> half hour or so from here. Uh, Big Bear said, tell Robin to get me my pop and we will plan a trip. There you go. He's actually thinking... There's a he, pop convention in Chicago that happens every year. There's one in Nashville that also happens every single year that I'd love to go to. Simply said, hey Emily, how was your basic white girl drink the other day? Ha ha ha. She said, she still can't talk. No. No. She said it she wasn't, wasn't basic. basic. John was basic. John was the basic white girl. Guys, I know nothing about this. I don't. <laughs> what I have that? no idea. A pumpkin, what, a pumpkin oh, spot latte. Yeah, yeah, I went to Starbucks. This little girl took me to Starbucks and said, "Okay, I'll buy you a drink." I said, "Okay, okay, okay." I was like, "Oh, I'll try a pumpkin spot latte." She starts laughing. Try it before. Try, try. Like I'm speaking to the Godfather, but. Uh, <laughs> She's coming like no in. Voldemort. I think you're basic. Uh, but so you anyway, That was I, the worst. Godfather impersonation. I'm sorry. You might can talk about pops. 
I'm gonna cry. You might play the guitar, but boy, you can't. You can't impersonate God. I'm gonna I'm start crying. Uh, sure. Are we? You cannot have my. But anyway, so I ordered a pumpkin spice latte. I did not know this was the international basic girl drink. Basic white girl. Basic white girl drink, and I got made fun. I I told her the girl up front because I didn't want her to know my real name because that's weird. I told her my name is Tom, and she wrote it on a cup. Emily thought this was fun. Well, winter. I and Emily thought that this was the funniest thing ever. So. <laughs> So yeah, my name's Tom, and I drink <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> and I'm basic. So do I get to put a new channel in for you? Okay. Thank you, simply. I mean, I told him I was like, you would be great with that. Because I have a half a gallon. What is that? Big Bear said I have a half gallon of Crown, but no pop. Oh, just say. Oh, a cracker in there every now and then. The sodium helps clear. Simply said, John's gift is ordered. I cannot wait to get it for him to get it. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm scared, but I'm excited. <laughs> when it when it gets it, we'll do like a, a an opening video or something. That is called a yabo. What? What's a yabo? That is called a yabo. What? If you look up anyone that is a, that is inside the pop smoking community on YouTube, yeah, there's one of those, and that's called a yabo. Tim said, Emily, that's the best thing I haven't heard in years. Because <laughs> you can't talk. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the best thing that you he's heard, but he couldn't hear you. Okay, the, we've got seven minutes, and Amanda wanted us to sing one time before we go. Because Amanda's been asking, so we're going to sing. Okay, simply, you can send it to me. After we're done, just send it to me. I'll get my phone. You have to uh, play the guitar while smoking a pipe. Mm. Yeah, play the guitar while you while smoke While smoking a pipe. Okay, what song you want to do? Is that pipe dead? Okay, you got to go over here, man. I went to Starbucks once and ordered a large coffee. The barista asked me what I wanted, and I said, um, coffee? <laughs> I like when you they say large, and they get they get all butthurt because they don't know what English is. large is. They're like... When uh, what size do you want? It's like, listen, lady, I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> you say a small? See, if I say a small, they're like, what size? I don't know how to say that word. Huh? Yeah, I always order him a tall because I don't know how to pronounce the other ones. So I just go, to, I just tell him a tall. <laughs> a tall is the small. What kind of sense does that make? That ought to be some. They're not selling you coffee. Yeah. Oh, they are selling you syrup English. and sugar. <laughs> okay, what do you want to play? Welcome to Story Time with John. <laughs> Mr. Rank said Heidi would kick me into the next county if she caught me smoking. <laughs> I was not really on board with it when he first started it, but I've kind of grown accustomed to it. When I realized it wasn't going to be like a... It's not... This is... Two or three times a day. This cannot a be a cigarette. It really can It cannot... If it's a habit, it's gone too far. It really has. It it can't. It just can't. You know, it's one of those things. Like... Because if you do it too much, you're going to know you're doing too much because it's too much nicotine. It just is. And you're going to know it. But, uh, no, I've never went overboard with it. I'm sure you can. You can go, I mean, a person can overboard just about anything. I mean, if you drink water, you can drink too much water. Or you can be like me and have too many animals. Oh! <laughs> okay, play something. Because we've only got a few minutes left. What do you want to play? Five minutes. Free bird! <laughs> Corey's free bird! <laughs> Don't tell the guys louder on free bird. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sing like smoke. Okay, mom. That's an ugly looking smoke, bro. Listen. That was a terrible. Listen, over. I'm under pressure. Under pressure. <laughs> okay, what song? I don't know. You start playing something. <laughs> Are we 
seriously doing that. You said pick a song. Country boy can't survive, somebody said. Y'all tell us already going to You need a channel of music, hey, you too. you sing it? Drop D. Go ahead, dude. Drop D. Oh, my gosh. You guys are getting the good songs tonight. Thank you, Mr. Rain. You literally got just a couple seconds. All right, hurry. Oh, it's already 9 o'clock. They got to go for Go for Green. Sorry, guys. We love you. We'll probably try to just do maybe an impromptu uh, live stream. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. He's going to be off the next couple days. So, love you guys. See you later. Go to go for green living. Bye. Thanks for watching.